from Miami International Airport. It's Saturday, May 14th, 2022. It's about four o'clock in the morning, uh, starting day two of my travel review of seven different U.S. carriers. Today's trip is going to take us from Miami to New York's JFK on JetBlue. Then we're going to go American Airlines from New York to Boston, and then from Boston to uh, Philadelphia on Delta. After that, I'm going to take a train to DC and then start day three. So stay tuned. Okay, so now we're boarding this Airbus A320 and it feels brand new, uh, feels clean. The seats are nice, seats are comfortable. I'm on 25A window seat, I uh, have plenty of leg room, no seat buddies yet. Personal entertainment system is nice. JetBlue offers a complimentary selection of drinks and snacks, but there's also wine, beer, and other snacks available for purchase. There's plenty of legroom in the seat 25A, and even if someone reclines, it still feels pretty comfortable. Anytime an airline has free in-flight entertainment, it's always a plus. You can watch free movies, play games, uh, watch TV. Really, it just makes the time go by faster and a little bit more enjoyable. Also on this flight are power outlets at each individual seat, which you can charge your devices. Uh, it's a really nice feature. We are pushing back five minutes early at 6.35 a.m. Please leave on the top flap of the, of the bubble. Go to New York. two and a half hours my flight experience on JetBlue has been pretty great uh, the boarding was easy the flight attendants have been great the airplane is clean the seats are nice they're comfortable they have enough space uh, it's not very tight with legroom 
the in-flight entertainment service is nice with the movies and games you can play and complimentary drinks and snacks. Uh, really, I give JetBlue an A+.